Hi viewers, here is the stand on high speed. It's spinning more like medium. Now this is medium. It's spinning slower than what low is supposed to be. Now this is low. It was still on that speed. Now this is off. It's still spinning so it means it's not the bearing problem the slowing it down. It's probably a capacitor problem. It's actually at my relative's house and they're gonna replace this fan and I get to keep it and I'll replace the capacitor. I'll start by shorting out the old capacitor by pulling the fan chain with light chain on and circuit breaker off. Now capacitor is shorted out. Time to locate the capacitor. This fan has capacitor easily found in switch housing and is clearly swollen. Capacitor can be found in other parts of a fan. Some fans have two capacitors in which one two wire capacitor is for start windings and other with more than two wires is for speeds other than high. If high speed works well and other speeds don't, it's the speed capacitor that needs replacing. If high speed doesn't work well, it's the start capacitor that needs replacing. Some fans have speed capacitor in switch housing and start capacitor in motor housing. Some multi-speed fans has only one two-wire capacitor and use winding tabs to change the speeds. The two white wires you see are actually connected together, so they're basically the same wire. If only certain speeds work, it must be a pull chain or motor issue. If only high speed works, you can easily put in wall or remote control and you can use low or medium again. Back to replacing the capacitor in this fan, it's time to take the old capacitor out. But first make a note where capacitor wire goes to. Now it's time to take the capacitor wires out of the chain switch. Let's start by taking the chain switch out so wires can be reached more easily. In some case you need a plier to start unscrewing the chain nut out of the switch. Wires can usually be removed from chain switch just by having paper clip inserted in wire hole. Two of the capacitor wires are connected to crimp that I don't have special tools to remove, so I'll have to cut these two wires. And I strip these two wires so they're ready for new capacitor wires. Now these two wires are connected with wire nuts and it's time to put two other wires in chain switch. Again, the wires can usually be removed or inserted in chain switch just by having paper clip inserted in wire hole. The new capacitor is successfully installed and it's time to put a fan back together. You can just hand tighten the chain nut, you don't need pliers to tighten it. Now this fan is ready and it's time to test it with a brand new capacitor. Yep, here it is again installed in my testing room this time and the fan spins fast again with a brand new capacitor. It's been spinning slow for over 10 years until they ended up replacing this fan. I already made a video of this fan in all 3 speeds, 5 blades, 4 blades, and 2 blades with the new capacitor, which can be found in my separate video of this fan. Thanks for watching and remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.